hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about the stress analysis of cantilever beam with point load by using ANSYS so in this drawing you can see here a beam which is uh, uh, fixed at the left hand side and uh, free at the other side and having the load at the end of force uh, the value is 600 Newton is given in this problem and the entire length of the span which is given as 750 mm and here the rectangular cross section is given and the width and the height is given as 100 cross 150 and the extra values uh, for the input data in the answers that is Young's modulus value and uh, Poisson's ratio is given it's 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square for uh, Young's modulus value and for Poisson's ratio it is 0 0.3 so let us start drawing this uh, cantilever beam with point load by using ANSYS so here in this ANSYS we can uh, uh, start with the preferences there is a structural problem go to structural and select OK here and uh, go to preprocessor select element type add your element add and this is a beam problem I can select this 2 node 188 and give OK and go to close then uh, select this material properties and this material models you can select structural linear elastic isotropic here you must enter your value of Young's modulus as 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 and your Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 and give OK and cancel then go to sec sections and in this beam section we are going to select this common section and uh, here uh, in our problem the cross section uh, what they gave is a rectangular cross section so B and H so this breadth is 100 and the height is 150 it is there in the problem so that's why we gave this 100 and 150 as our dimension so if you want to change the cross sections so for our desired uh, dimensions if you have this dimensions like uh, oval shape or eye shape uh, this type of uh, subtypes if you want to change the entire cross section means we can change it from the subtype okay so go to ok here and now <coughs> we are going to model your entire beam with the help of uh, key points so go to modeling create key points inactive coordinate system on that inactive coordinate system you can start with the first key point so the first key point uh, we just start with the origin so you apply and uh, in the second key point the value is 750 that is the entire length of this uh, beam that is 750 give ok so we just created two key points and we need to join these two key points with the help of a line go to lines and uh, uh, create one straight line with the help of this command and then I can go for meshing go to size controls a manual size go to lines and pick all all the lines and here the number of uh, element divisions what I am giving is 100 so if you increase this uh, element divisions we can uh, get the finest result so if you go for 10 the uh, results might be the approximate result might be uh, point something variation should be there if you go for 100 or even uh, 200 500 likewise we can uh, get the finest result okay now give ok so you can see here the entire line is divided into 100 equal divisions okay so now go to mesh the entire line should be selected and give ok the entire line was meshed now the preprocessor steps was over go to solution uh, in this analysis type new analysis you can uh, see here it is a static problem so normally it is there as a static as a default and if you want to go for model harmonic analysis transient analysis if you want to go for this kind of steps you can uh, select this uh, models okay now it is a static model and it is already there in the analysis so don't change that as uh, model or even harmonic either it is a static one it is the best one okay now go to define loads go to apply uh, structural and displacement 
why we going for this step means so your left hand is arrested okay so it is a fixed one so go to this displacement and go to key points select this left key point and go to ok select all degrees of freedom if uh, all degrees of freedom is set means it should be entire point is get arrested so your displacement values in XYZ and your rotation XYZ got arrested in the left hand side and uh, after this you just go for force our movement you can select this key point on the right hand side and go to ok so we need to give some load so the load what uh, uh, we gave in the problem is uh, 600 the force is 600 Newton it is in a downward direction so we need to give uh, the value with the negative sign minus 600 because the load is acting in downward direction if it is an upward direction means the sign should be in a positive okay so give okay so the sign shows that the load acting in the downward direction so now after completing all this uh, boundary conditions we can go for solving your problem as current load step give okay and your solution is done okay now you can check your results so read your results with the help of this general post processor and select this plot result and you can check the deformed shape first so how deformation happens in this uh, cantilever beam you can check with this normal line that the white line denotes that it is a, a base drawing and uh, here this blue color indicates that it is a deformed shape deformed drawing after giving a load in the uh, end the entire beam is get deformed and then the contour plot go to contour plot you can select this nodal solution and uh, go to this displacement vector sum it should be in the degrees of freedom solution a uh, displacement vector sum and give ok and now it is the value for displacement and it should be in the millimeters okay so now um, you can change this uh, view with the help of uh, this isometric or even uh, oblique view uh, it is a, a look like a two dimensional because we gave a sectional cross sectional view or cross sectional values as b and h and you must uh, check with the help of this plot controls go to uh, style and uh, size and shape you can uh, on this display of elements now you can get the entire uh, three dimensional view of your beam cantilever beam okay so now you can uh, check whether your uh, uh, your animation you can check with this animation part so go to plot controls animate and uh, deform shape you can check with the deformed plus undeformed you can check it out so now uh, the uh, now you can uh, check with this drawing so how much deformation which happens from the base drawing to the deformed region okay this is the uh, animation region so close this one stop and then close so then the second part so we need to draw a shear force diagram and also the bending moment diagram so here in this element table select this element table define table on this define table you can add your uh, elements uh, by sequence number this is the miscellaneous value so you need to give the miscellaneous value as 3 and give apply and uh, by sequence number we can give the number of 6 and again give one more number 16 and the last number what we are going to use is 19 okay this is the sequence numbers uh, for getting this shear force diagram and also the bending moment diagram so this is the combination a 3 cross 16 and 6 cross 19 okay so now close here and now so how we uh, got this kind of uh, values so if you want to get this value you can uh, go to this command prompt uh, go to help help comma beam 188 uh, that's the value I uh, gave in the material properties that is 188 so one more uh, value was also there that is the 3 node 189 if you chose 3 node 189 means you can uh, type beam 189 and give enter so if you give enter means if you give enter 
you can uh, get the exact descriptions value so like uh, uh, from the answers library you can get this element description value for beam 188 so the entire beam 188 values or the entire beam 188 uh, descriptions so it should be available in this library so you can uh, scroll down and you can move up to this box you can see here the sequence number box so here 3 cross 16 so for a, a node i and uh, node j so the value uh, that i took it from this dialog box that is the bending moment as miscellaneous values for i node and j node as 3 cross 16 and for y that is shear force for y direction that is 6 cross 19 so this is the two sequences uh, which will be very very helpful for to draw this shear force drawing and also the bending moment drawing okay so now uh, we already completed this element table that's a defined table we already completed this 3 6 16 19 from the sequence number we can uh, we already uh, took it from the element table now go to the plot result uh, go to counter plot go to nodal solution uh, we already have this displacement vector sum value so, okay so now you can go to this uh, line element result so this is the uh, last part we are going to uh, enter into this video that is line element result how to get this shear force drawing and also the bending moment drawing so 3 cross 16 it is the first sequence number that is 3 cross 16 give ok so that's the exact value for your bending moment <coughs> so this is the value so <coughs> this is the bending moment drawing so entire value this maximum value what we are getting is 2250 okay so this is the exact value for uh, uh, bending moment uh, drawing that is in uh, Newton millimeters that is uh, bending moment uh, units for uh, uh, this cantilever beam that is bending moment drawing and now the secondary part is to draw the shear force diagram so with the help of the second uh, sequence for node i is 6 and node j is 19 this is for shear force so uh, this is the value the entire uh, <coughs> load what we gave is 600 that's the exact value for shear force drawing 600 newton it is the uh, unit what we are going to use for shear force okay so now uh, in it, this is uh, this is the simple step to get the shear force drawing and also the bending moment drawing with the help of this sequence 3 cross 16 and uh, uh, 6 cross 19 values okay now uh, one more uh, part that is very very important that is result viewer if you want to go for uh, checking the same results in the different window you can uh, check it out with the help of this uh, window okay result viewer okay if you want to uh, move your animate part from the different window you can check it from here okay so very simple so whatever uh, animation you are going to uh, use or uh, you are going to get from uh, this level you can go for this result viewer okay so result sorry so you can close here so this is the result viewer you can see here so if you want to take printouts for this drawings so the black background should not be suitable for taking printouts so if you want to change the color you can go to this plot controls uh, style and in this colors you can go to reverse video so you can click this reverse video the entire uh, color was went to a white color it is just changed from black to white so you can directly take a capture image from <coughs> this plot controls go to this capture image and you can get the uh, extra uh, image uh, image dialog box you can go to file and save your file is in bitmap files okay so, so this is the easiest way to save your uh, documents uh, with the reverse video and also with the help of a bitmap file so thank you very much guys uh, if you have any other doubts related to this uh, simple exercise you can ask your doubt in the command box if you 
enjoyed this video you can like subscribe and uh, share it to, to your friends okay thank you thank you very much